loco. Man, the biggest blessing in life is growth. Getting older. A lot of the youth, y'all ain't gonna understand this yet. Y'all think that's the best time of your life. When in reality, it's the most stressful because you don't know exactly what you're gonna become when you get older. You don't fully understand life. The people that you think are your day ones might not even be within your day when you get older. The older I'm getting, I'm realizing that yes, while the joints ain't the same, the joints ain't jointing the way they used to. A lot of wisdom has come along with these years. A lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of heartbreak. And I'm grateful for all of it. Because without any of that, I probably wouldn't fully understand my purpose. I know it sounds gimmicky when you got somebody trying to help you find your purpose when they haven't fully understood what they are in this life to do. So I guess the best way to put it is, I want you to come along on my journey. And as a byproduct of what I learn, whatever I go through, the ups, the downs, you'll learn something about yourself because that's usually how it works. I don't know anybody else out there, but I'm a visual learner. I learn through seeing as well as learn through doing. So let my tips, let whatever I say that might rub you the wrong way, at least evoke some type of thought in you because we can agree to disagree, but also we should be able to challenge each other. I've never been the type to subscribe to the notion that we all gotta get along. We all gotta agree with everything because I think in that way, it doesn't really nurture or produce individual thought, innovation. In order to do that, there has to be somebody who breaks away from the mold. There has to be somebody willing to say, while I respect what y'all out here doing, it ain't for me. And be able to endure the ridicule. The people who are gonna backstab you, who are gonna talk stuff about you, who are not gonna invite you to the parties or want you to be around them because it makes them feel inferior. And that's fine. As long as you stand 10 toes down, as they say, and stand on your business, I promise you, you'll die a happy man or woman. I'm content. And when I say content, I'm just, I'm secure with who I am. I'm always open to learn something new. I'm always open to grow even more. And I know a lot of that means that I won't be liked. And that's a lot of times I speak my mind now and I rub people the wrong way. And it's mainly because they're used to being in a group or being around people who are yes men and yes women and tell them what they like to hear and validate that their thoughts are the best ones out there. But then when you run into someone who challenges that, speaks their mind, and then it doesn't hurt, you know, when you, when you got a little muscle, <laughs> a little stature, it intimidates that person. If that's you, do not, and I mean do not back down. And the people who will understand that are the people who are meant to be in your life. Everybody else, it was nice knowing. Create Vinci, Purpose Coach. I help you find your purpose. Be great. Do great things. Act like you've been somewhere. Get to work. Elevate the crown. <laughs>